the exhibition May the Other Live in Me redefines the role of humans in interspecies communication, climate crisis, mass extinction, and the collapse of ecosystem shows that the old anthropocentric approach to our relationship with the other must change. Instead of control, subjugation, and motivation, we need to find new ways of working with non-human. By using new technologies, artists are looking for new approaches to communicating with the other. They apply for the help of the other non-human agents, the artificial neural networks and deep learning research. We have identified three artistic strategies that can help us to enter a dialogue with the other. Observation, dialogue and symbiosis. What if AI was not based on human perceptions, but on those of an octopus? The artist Orphan Drift drew inspiration from the experiences of cephalopods with their distributed nervous system and flexible adaptation to the surroundings. Through this perspective, we begin to see the world through the eyes of an octopus. Elena Nicanole trained a neural network with recordings of Nightingale's song. The artist is creating a situation where two non-human agents communicate, the birds and AI. In this case, AI is not a mediator or interface for communication. It is a fully-fledged participant that can help us study the structure of the bird language that facilitates understanding and interaction. In the artwork Nimiya Chetti, we can imagine a dialogue with the other worlds. Here, Yenna Sutella creates her interpretation of Martian language using extremophily bacteria, which could potentially live on Mars. The bacterial movements are translated by an artificial neural network into the basis of a writing system. So, the artist's voice transforms it into a speech. The machine becomes a medium, which transmits messages from entities. The entities that cannot usually be heard. This artwork helps to connect us with the worlds outside our consciousness. One of the major works of the exhibition, Earthlink by Sasha Spachal, allows the viewer to connect with our planet through breathing in and out. The Earthlink installation is closed ecosystem that consists of four parts. Inspiration is a breathing station that lets viewers to inhale air enriched with mycobacterium vacca, soil bacteria. These improve our mood and ease anxiety. But what happens when a process as intimate as breathing is controlled by technology? Expiration collects visitors' microbes in externalized lungs as they breathe out. Those lungs are then cleansed by falling drops of Cupresso sempervirens. As they fall onto the red-hot, dry cemetery beneath, they evaporate. The symbiont has intermediate position containing Trifolium pratense clover and Rhizobium bacterium. Their symbiotic relationship produces oxygen and fixes nitrogen, both essential for human life. Biomes are mediator systems – soil, plant seeds, bones from poultry farms, mushrooms, lava stones, water, microplastics, hair – all exchange their microbiomes over the air currents. How are we transformed when we interact with the microbiomes of others? One Tree ID is a biochemical installation by Agnes Meyer Brandes. The artist worked with a scientist to collect aerosol samples containing volatile organic samples and determine the scent of the selected tree. These substances were then synthesized in laboratory and turned onto the basis of a perfume that could make you become a tree for another tree. On a biochemical level, this offers an opportunity to enter a conversation that is invisible and audible by its nature. Can machines sense and perceive human emotions? Interactive installation Mirror Ritual by Nina Rajic reads the emotions of the visitors and uses machine learning to interpret and react to them. Every time a person appears in the front of the mirror, the machine responds with a unique poetic message generated by the machine. 
Here we present the video documentation of a radical bio-art performance of the group Art Orient Objet. The artist Marion Lavajante carried out an experiment on herself in attempt to bridge the gap between humans and animals. She mixed her own blood with a horse's blood by injecting herself with equine immunoglobulin. In the exhibition, this artwork is the highest point of symbiotic relationship between the human and the other, and served as a one of the inspirations for the title and the theme of the exhibition. In Ralph Becker's Mirage, we see the machine's dreams on Earth's magnetic field. This robotic neuroinstallation reads data about our magnetic field and then, in its dreams, based on the output of a neural network, depicts its possible landscapes. A 3D map of the imaginary magnetic field floats through the air via laser projection. Every contemporary electronic device is created from electronic components, which in their turn are made from minerals. In resistor, a sample of a raw magnetite crystals is constantly felt by robotized electrodes that measure its conductivity. The resulting data is displayed on a screen as graphs that resemble a rugged landscape, reminiscent of the magnetite itself and transformed into the sound. The installation is an automated entity realizing itself by touching itself. Warner's cry makes us think about the risk of our personal data being intercepted online. You become a participant of a video conference. Then you are transported to the world of digital traces. You observe portraits of chat participants, transcripts of their communication, biometric data, and gear positioning. Warner's cry refers to a magical crystal ball that helps people to scry and see the future. We are approaching the last work of our exhibition, Measuring the Magic of Mutual Gaze, a performance and neuroscientific experiment by Marina Abramovic. This is the only artwork where we communicate with humans, address them through non-verbal communication. We make eye contact and test the hypothesis of synchronization of brain activity of the beholders. Not only this work, but all artworks at this exhibition invite you to understand yourself through the understanding the other.